I still can't believe I have a 14 year old Samsung phone that is working on Android 14. I've been on a digital minimalism journey since September of 2023. Now along this journey, I have been changing my phones regularly because this is my biggest issue. I'm addicted to my smartphone as well as social media. Not so much social media anymore because I've kind of gotten rid of it out of my life, but smartphones are still my kryptonite or biggest weakness. And I've gone from dumb phones to minimalist phones, feature phones, and even dumbed down smartphones. But recently, I've kind of re-sparked my interest in older devices. Now, I've covered some of my BlackBerry phones. I've even bought an old iPhone. But now, I've stumbled into the world of Android devices. To be clear, I do have a Pixel 8, which is a newer Android device, but when I opened up my drawer of older phones, I had another phone catch my eye recently. This was my Samsung Galaxy S3. Now this phone came out in 2012, and I think that I bought it around 2013 or 2014. This phone was huge for its time. It was touted as the iPhone killer. I remember at one point it even outsold the iPhone 4S. The screen was huge for its time. I mean, now it's only a 4.8 inch display and compared to modern devices, it looks a bit smaller, which is crazy because this screen was huge back in the day. I really loved this device and unfortunately it was probably the start of my serious addiction with social media apps and the ease of using my smartphone as an entertainment device. Unfortunately, this device is running Android 4.4.4, and this is Android KitKat, and a lot of applications were no longer supported, so I couldn't use it as is today. But luckily, Android is open source, and there are a lot of developers working on different versions of Android in order for older devices to be used today. One of those operating systems that is an Android-based operating system is Lineage OS. Now, I just stumbled upon this a couple weeks ago, and I know that other OSs have existed that use Android, and I kind of fell down the rabbit hole. I watched a tutorial by Williams Tech, and I'll link it down below because this is how I converted my S3 from an Android 4.4 device to an Android 14. I didn't think this was possible, and honestly, I was very skeptical when jumping into this whole process. But I followed the tutorial and I also followed the directions from the developer themselves on the forum that I'll also link below. Once I was able to flash the device and install the custom ROM, my device was running like new. This is a 14 year old device and it's able to run Android 14 with Lineage OS. Now the advantages of using Lineage OS is that you're essentially de-googling your device. So when you're installing this specific operating system of Android, when you start up your device, you'll notice that you don't have any bloatware, you don't have any Google applications pre-installed, and it's great. There are some default apps for Lineage OS, and I found that this was enough for me, especially using it as a dumb phone. I didn't want to have distractive apps on my device, and it's been streamlined ever since I installed Lineage OS. You are able to install other applications if you need. For example, I needed to install WhatsApp and with the Lineage App Store, I had no issues. I also installed other applications to test to see how the functionalities work on a 14 year old device. Now this device only has two gigabytes of RAM and I found out quickly that it's limiting with certain applications. For communication applications such as WhatsApp, I had no issues. But when trying to run more demanding apps, for example, I like to use Notion for my notes, it struggled a bit. To be honest, it crashed quite often and I didn't think that I can get this app to work. But eventually it loaded and I can more or less read the notes, but it is not very convenient for creating new notes or navigating quickly in this specific app. I also wanted to test the video player. So I installed a video player that my son uses and it also crashed in the beginning. 
Once I was able to load though, it did play the videos fine and I didn't have much issue thereafter. I found that updating my old Samsung device actually makes this a quite convenient dumb phone. It does work for the most part, so calling and texting and accessing essential apps such as WhatsApp, I have no issue with. There are some bugs with this system though, and for example, if you're looking to make Bluetooth calls, it's not going to work. There are some bugs when you're trying to load certain applications, essentially they just crash, um, but those are the only issues that I've really encountered. Also, one annoying feature is actually unlocking the device, which I can change, of course, but I like to have a passcode to unlock my device, and accessing this menu takes a few swipes before I can enter my code. Other than that, this device runs much faster than it did on Android KitKat, and I'm really happy with the modern interface and the possibility to use a newer version of Android. I'm able to modify the accessibility needs for my vision needs, so I was able to increase the font size and display size, and this was extremely convenient for my needs. I also quite like the AMOLED display. I'm not gonna lie, it's still beautiful on the eyes and easy for me to read. I've been using this device for about one week, and I like it. The form factor is quite a bit larger than I would like, but I mean, it's a 4.8 inch display, which isn't much bigger than the iPhone SE from 2016 that I've been using recently. But I have another Samsung up my sleeve. I actually have the S3 mini as well, and I'm going to update this to Lineage OS as well. That way I can be able to compare the two devices and see which one I like to use more. Now, since I've discovered this feature of updating older Android devices, I'm going to go through all of my older devices. I have some HTCs lying around, and I would even like to de-Google one of my older Google Pixels. I'm doing all of this to hopefully get up the courage to de-Google my current Google Pixel because I kind of like the privacy features of having a different operating system that's not quite attached to the Google ecosystem. I don't want to be somebody who's dependent on Apple or Google, and I kind of want the freedom to have more control over my devices and my usage of those devices. That's why on this digital minimalism journey, I'm trying to test out as many different devices, setups, and anything that will help me control my addiction to my smartphone. I really hoped you enjoyed this video. And again, if you want to do this to one of your older devices, feel free to check out the links below. And thank you so much for watching and see you soon.